So in this video we're going to look at creating dynamic drop downs or cascading drop downs. There's a really good article written here a couple of months ago by Sato on Max um, Knowledge Base which goes through all the steps. But I thought I'd take it back just kind of more practical and uh, run you through a scenario which hopefully will bring this to life even more. So what we're going to build is a fairly simple drop down process but it has three layers. So the top layer is a category and things either fall into camera, laptop or smartphone and then on this next worksheet it goes into the make so as you can see here we have uh, three different types of camera Canon, Nikon and Panasonic, three different types of laptop and three different types of uh, smartphone and then beneath that there's an, another worksheet which is looking at each of the manufacturers so if I sorted this by uh, filtered this by Apple uh, it's just going to be iPhone 8, 12 and 13 and then if I have filtered it by Asus, which is a laptop, it's going to have Zenbook and Vivo, etc. So if I just take this off. So these are showing the makes for each of the relevant models across those different categories. So jumping into NAC, just created a really simple app, just a new app, which has a couple of objects. The first one is just an orders table, I just have an auto increment and a customer name at the moment. And then we have a category object and in that it's just got one field and this has got the different types of categories so whether it's a camera a laptop or a smartphone so going back to our spreadsheet this is the first worksheet the category so these items here so what we need to now make is um, another table to show the different makes within inside those categories so three different makes for cameras laptops and smartphones so I'm going to add a new object call it make and what I'm going to do is add a connection. I'm going to connect it to the category table. Just leave this as a one to many. And I'm just going to put that at the top. So comparing this to my spreadsheet, I now have two fields, category and make. One will contain the different types and the other one will do contain the different manufacturers or makes. So looking at the records view, I don't have any records. So I'm just going to go now and fill these in. So my first one, I'm going to have a smartphone and I'm going to say Apple. I'm going to add another smartphone to Google. And my last smartphone, Samsung. So now I'm going to do the laptop. So we have Asus, Dell and Lenovo. So I've also added the camera with Canon, Nikon and Panasonic. So comparing that to our spreadsheet, we now have the setup as shown here. So the last table to create or the last object is the model. And what we will pull through is the different makes and the different models for those makes. So I'm going to add one more object, call it model. Just remove the word name. And I'm going to connect this to the table above, which is the make because the make is already connected to the category. Now go into records, add a record. I can then select my make. This is for a camera. And now I've added all of these into the table. I'll actually show you uh, how to do this as an import from the spreadsheet that we've been using. Actually, uh, I didn't import these manually one at a time, I just quickly imported them. Okay, so we now have that structure. What we need to do now is connect to our orders object. So if we go back to fields, just going to change to the orders object. So I need to connect the orders to each of them. So I'm connect the orders to the category, one to many, make, And model. So in the orders table, if I go to records and add a record, the category list will give me all the different types of categories. But then beneath that, it will give me all the makes from the whole object, from the whole table. Likewise, it will give me all of the different models. And what I want to do in the live app is filter these. So when I choose smartphones, I only get things like uh, Google and Apple and Samsung. So I'm going to go to pages, add my first page. Just have it as a public page 
called orders. I'm going to first add a table which just shows my orders. I haven't added any edit links or view links, just a really simple table. Now I'm going to add another view, which is a form that adds an order. And I can link it via a menu. Just going to move the menu above. On the add order form, just going to go into the drop down and change a couple of settings. First one is to display it as a pop up box. So let's just look at that in the live app. So very simple table and a button with a pop up box to add an order. It works the same at the moment that this is shown on my categories and it's then shown all of my different makes from those categories and all of the different models across all of those different makes. Let's go back into the builder and onto the add order page, which you can either click on the orange arrow um, or obviously click on the page here. So what we need to do is click on to uh, the make field. And as you can see here, this is currently showing all records of the different makes. You can change that. So makes connected to this forms category. So it'll only show makes connected to the category above it on the form. But then going to the model, we want to change that. So that it only shows models connected to this forms make. Save, back to your live app and refresh. So there'll be a couple of things we need to change, but now if we add an order, if I click on the category and choose smartphone, we then only get smartphone manufacturers, uh, currently not alphabetical. But if I choose Apple and then choose a model, I just get my iPhones. If I toggle that back to Samsung, I just get S21, S22, and conversely, Google, I then get my pixels. If I change the category to cameras, and then I get my Canon models. If I change Canon to Panasonic, then I get all my Panasonic models. So just going back into the builder and into records, on the make, if you look at the settings of this object, it's actually sorted by the category, which is the first column, cameras, laptops, and smartphones. And really I want it sorted by the make alphabetically. So now it will be sorted by this column. So Apple, Asus, and Canon. So if I go back, refresh my browser, add an order here, and then go smartphone, this make will now be alphabetical. Okay, so um, the thing I said I'd show you was importing the models. So I'm just going to delete all of these records. So they are all now deleted. So on this spreadsheet, obviously I've got three worksheets. So what I've done is I just exported this model sheet out as a CSV file so I can import it. So if I just change this back to fields, because we have this connection back to the uh, make, when I do an import, it will automatically suggest to connect to the object above. I'm going to records, import, I'm just going to drag and drop my model CSV onto here. So you can see these are all the makes and the models. Um, just say yes, it does contain a header on the first row. And as you can see here, it's saying a make, it's connecting the make column, which make field matches. And it's going to be the make field that matches and the model is automatically selected. So I can just say next, start import. So that's now imported 27 records. And as we can see from the icon at the top, this is my connection and it's correctly connected all of the items here. So these are all Apple and these are my iPhones, and Asus. So if you're going to do this in a spreadsheet, it's very easy to create it in your spreadsheet with the logic and then import it into NAC using the uh, very easy import tool. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, it's a question I get asked quite a bit about um, cascading or dependent dropdowns and I'll catch you on the next one.